top 10 venomous snakes in the Philippines, either on land or in the sea. First on our list is the Bornean keeled green pit viper. This venomous pit viper species is a native to Southeast Asia particularly in countries like Malaysia, the Philippines, Indonesia and Brunei. Because they're arboreal snakes, they spend most of their time in trees. There isn't much information about the nature of its venom, but pit viper venoms are typically cytotoxic, meaning their venoms could cause tissue damage or necrosis on the bitten part. They are found in many parts of the Philippines, such as in lowland forests, either primary or secondary. They are also present in riverine and coastal forests. Males and juveniles can be identified by their bright shades of either blue, green, or a combination thereof, with numerous thin, pale bicolored bars. Adult females typically have an intricate pattern that consists of a yellow ground color with bluish, greenish, or turquoise bands, and a thick stripe of the same color on the sides of the head. These snakes are masters of camouflage, so be sure to watch out when going to the forests. Though they appear quite sluggish and motionless for long periods of time, they can strike quickly when disturbed. The South Philippine Temple Pit Viper. The closest cousin of the Bornean keeled pit viper. This species of venomous snake can only be found in some regions of Mindanao and some portions of western Leyte, where it is endemic. There's not much in-depth study about the snake's venom composition, but since it's a viper and it's venomous, one should be extra careful when entering the forests. Males have a greenish turquoise body, whereas females are seemingly more green. Its body has dorsal blotches, and a net-like pattern is visible. If you plan on visiting the forests of western Leyte and Mindanao, be sure to always watch out for venomous snakes, including this one. Another snake to watch out for is the highly venomous equatorial spitting cobra. This species of spitting cobra can be found in the equatorial nations of Southeast Asia, which includes the Philippines. This snake prefers to slither on the ground up to 1,500 meters above sea level, both in tropical forests and in populated areas like gardens and parks. In terms of their appearance, equatorial spitting cobras have round pupils and smooth dorsal scales, body is thick and appear in black to bluish black or yellow to brown in color. Although this snake is not aggressive and tends to avoid confrontation, large adults will stand upright, expand their hood and then hiss loudly if they feel threatened. Its venom is neurotoxic and cytotoxic, capable enough to kill you once you're bitten. If by any chance you come across this snake, back off. Don't threaten them since they have the ability to spit their venom up to 8 feet away, targeting your eyes. The highly toxic composition of its venom can result in intense pain and burning sensation in your eyes, and in the worst case, these burns can actually lead to blindness, so you better watch out. Number 4, King Cobra. One of the most venomous and deadliest snakes in the world. This cobra is so long that it can literally stand up and face you in the eye. Now that's scary. It can lift up to a third of its body off the ground when threatened, and will still be able to move and attack. Like other cobra species, this one is also shy and will avoid humans whenever possible. But once disturbed, the quantity of neurotoxins they can inject in a single bite, up to two-tenths of an ounce of fluid, is enough to kill 20 humans or even an elephant. Once a person is bitten, its venom affects the respiratory centers of the brain leading to cardiac failure and respiratory collapse. King cobras can be black, brown, or yellow when fully grown. They commonly also have crossbars or chevrons that are yellowish or white. They are widespread across the Philippines and live along streams in open or dense forests, bamboo thickets, close by agricultural areas, and dense mangrove swamps, mainly feeding on other snakes including their own kind. Yellow-bellied sea snake If you think you are safe from venomous snakes once you're in the ocean, think again. Let me tell you about the highly venomous yellow-bellied sea snake. This species of sea snake can be found in many parts of the world's open oceans, including the Philippine waters. They are the most pelagic of all the sea snakes and spend their entire life in the open ocean, though sometimes you can spot them on the shore. Sea snakes that are washed ashore are usually sick or sometimes stranded. The venom of this snake is a highly potent neurotoxin and myotoxin, which is even more dangerous than that of their land-dwelling venomous snake relatives like the cobras. Although its venom is highly toxic, this animal is not aggressive and rarely bites people in its natural habitat. Experts say people will most likely get bitten when they try to pick them up from the shore. In terms of appearance, the yellow-bellied sea snake has a distinctive bicolor pattern with a yellow underbelly and a brown back, making it easily distinguishable from other sea snake species. They have a laterally flattened ribbon-like body, 
and the tail is paddle-shaped, allowing the snake to swim both forwards and backwards in the open ocean. Number 6. The Philippine Pit Viper It is an ambush predator and is notorious for its ability to camouflage in its natural environment using its vivid green coloration and rusty red markings on its back. Philippine Pit Vipers are known to carry hematoxic venom, a venom that destroys red blood cells. It damages the circulatory system of the body and causes bleeding, swelling and necrosis on the muscle tissues. Fortunately, Philippine pit viper attacks are extremely uncommon, and there have never been any fatalities attributed to this venomous snake. However, experts believe there may be incidences, but nobody is reporting them. Don't ever touch or provoke this snake when you spot it in the wild. Their bite is lethal and there's no anti-venom for this specific species of pit viper that is available, so it's best to leave them alone. 7. Beaked Sea Snake The beaked sea snake is considered to be one of the most venomous in the genus Hydrophis. It is native to the Indo-Pacific waters where the Philippines is situated. The back of this animal is grayish, and the belly is yellowish to cream in color. Faint dark markings can be seen on the back, which may form a series of narrow transverse bands. The nostril in front gives a beak-like appearance, hence its name. In terms of venom, the beaked sea snake possesses one of the deadliest venoms of all snakes in the world. Its venom is made up of a highly potent neurotoxin and myotoxin, which is eight times more deadly than the king cobras. And if that's not enough to scare you, beaked sea snakes are considered to be aggressive according to herpetologist, and are responsible for about 90% of all sea snake bites, usually ending up fatal. This species can live in shallow open seas, river mouths, estuaries, coastal lagoons, and mangrove forests. In Cambodia and India, it has been spotted in freshwater lakes and can travel up rivers. Just like any other sea snake in the Philippines, finding one is very rare, but since the country is part of its geographic range, it is best to always be mindful. The Yellow-Lipped Sea Crite this species of venomous sea snake is frequently found in warm tropical climates in the oceanic and coastal waters of the Indo-Pacific. Their primary habitat is shallow coral reefs where their primary food source like the eel, resides. Unlike other sea snakes, this animal spends more time on land and has the ability to climb trees. They have alternating black and bluish-gray stripes on their dorsum, a paddle-like tail for swimming, and their upper lip is yellow, hence their name. Their venom contains powerful neurotoxins that are 10 times more potent than those of a rattlesnake. Once bitten, these neurotoxins attack the nervous system of the victim, resulting in breathing difficulty, paralysis, cardiac failure, even death. Sightings of this species are very common in the Philippines. One can easily find it in Batangas and Palawan, as well as other parts of the country. They have been known to enter human residences in boats, so you better watch out. Number 9, the Lake Tall Snake. When you think of Tall Lake, images of Tall Volcano may first come to mind. That's because you might never have heard of the Lake Tall Snake. A very rare, non-aggressive yet venomous sea snake that can only be found in this freshwater volcanic lake. It is known for being one of only two recognized species of sea snake that can be found exclusively in freshwater. Though they live in freshwater, they are still classified with the rest of the true sea snakes. In terms of coloration, they have black or dark blue skin with yellowish to white bands. They also have a flat paddle-shaped tail like other sea snakes. Because sea snakes carry a highly potent venom, it's not a surprise that their venom is more deadlier than that of a cobra. But just like any other sea snake, this one is also not aggressive, and attacks on humans are very rare. But as a general rule, don't provoke them, as they will not hesitate to bite. Before we get to number 10, here's a few venomous snake species that can also be found in the Philippines. Number 10. The Samar Cobra This species of extremely venomous spitting cobra is endemic in the southern regions of the Philippines, and is a WHO-listed first-category venomous snake species with importance in the medical field. They are most frequently found in mountainous forests and close to human towns, and can be recognized by their color, which ranges from black and yellow to green. 
they also have a hood, just like other cobras, and when threatened, it expands, making them look bigger and scarier. Their venom is very dangerous. The highly potent neurotoxin is enough to take someone's life in minutes if left untreated. Unfortunately, like most other venomous serpents in the country, there are no species-specific anti-venom available for its treatment. If ever you visit the countryside, especially rainforests and bamboo thickets, you should always be careful and keep an eye out at all times. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.